Hello again, fellow pawns. I'm Drippy Pawn. This is Sky Factory 3, and this is number 35. 35 episodes of Sky Factory 3 from Drippy Pawn. So I'm just standing here on my Coke oven because there was a dark spot up here and a couple of monsters spawned. And you see my monster spawner way over there? No, you don't because it's gone. I tore it down. Um, I also had a dark spot up here on top of the windmill. I don't think any monsters had spawned there yet, but there was potential for that. And I don't want a creeper spawning and coming around blowing up everything. So what happened last time? Um, we added some lapis to the sword, and it's looting two now, and luck two. So that's luckier than luck one. Oh, we made this 25 million RF capacitor bank. Got it sitting over here on on the uh, reactor just collecting some power not going real fast because I have it throttled back 70 percent the, the fuel rod is pushed in 70 percent so it's not making a whole lot of power uh, just for funsies let's see how much power we can actually get from this right now this is the smallest reactor that's possible three by three by three and it looks like it'll put out a little over 200 RF per tick well, that's not terrible, but we don't need all that power at the moment because don't really have a lot of machines going that need the power. Um, what else? We made the growth crystal, put it out there in the crops, uh, found another fortress in the nether, and stole a a blaze spawner. Plan to do something with those fairly soon. Um. We, uh, off camera, I placed some extra glowstones. So yeah, I kind of replaced some torches along the wooden path. Got them out in every direction just to help light things up. Um, so today, I think I was planning on creating a better monster maker out here that will feed a whole lot more stuff into my loot bag maker. So we can make more loot bags and and get the higher level stuff. What is it? Legendary? And um, it occurred to me that I could do an endervor, I think it is. Maybe it's a reservoir. Res, reser, reservoir. Yeah, that. I think maybe that will help me collect the uh, XP out there because... What I have is not working as well as I'd like. I mean, it's collecting the XP. I got the little tap on there. But, I, you know, this one only holds 16 buckets, I think. And then this one, I don't know how much it holds, but I thought these would connect. But they don't, these singularity tanks. So I guess singularity means just one. So I thought I'd try with an endervor, reservoir, whatever this is called, which means I'm going to need a cauldron, fused quartz. I have some quartz. I think if I put quartz over here in the smelter, it'll take four at a time and make fused quartz, so this should give me three of them if I've calculated correctly. Fused quartz. Yep, that's what I need. Okay, so I got those cooking. I um, don't know if I made these carrots while you were on last time, but you put gold nuggets around the carrot and you get gold and carrots, and those are pretty good food. You see three, three food sickles and then a whole bunch of saturation. So you eat a carrot and, and you stay happy for a long time. Let's grab up these fused quartz and make the reservoir. We're gonna need a cauldron, which needs iron. Iron. Let's just make a set of four right now. Now, what I can do with that is, I'll just use water here for an example. You connect these and it makes one big tank. And I can put some water, say, there, and some more water over here. And it creates an infinite water source. 
but I can move this water source around. So if I break that one, for example, and that one, and that one, and that one, I guess I'll have to empty these now, <laughs> which uh, was not part of the plan. But yeah, I've got I've got water that I can move around. So um, yeah, that happened. We got Endervor tank, so we can use that for collecting the XP out there. And then I won't have to be running out and emptying the tap every once in a while. So, um, yeah, I was planning to build a nice little building out here. Let's use some stone bricks and go ahead and get some other stone cooking too. One, two, three, four. Don't know when I cooked those. Those graphite bars. Ooh, lag spike. Don't remember doing that, but obviously I did. All right, and out here we're gonna build the actual monster place. And let's see. I want to create a pretty big one that'll get lots of monster drops and fill this up with lots of monster parts really fast. And um, er, uh, uh, er, let's start with a three by three. So I'll have the monsters come down to here. Let's see, the plan is to put a, a monster grinder right there, right on that block. So I'm going to use the vector plates to push the little monsters into that block. I think that'll be sufficient. And then I need a tower up around it. So I'm going to need this to be at least two blocks tall. So any monster that falls in here will get pushed onto the, the block with nothing on it. And that'll be a mob grinder later on. And I can add upgrades to the mob grinder like beheading and turn this into a <coughs> sorry, turn it into a wither skeleton skull catcher. Let's go one more block tall. And I'll probably change this front side to um, some kind of dark glass later on so I can look in there and see the monsters getting dead. So over here I need two blocks tall and let's see this side monsters are just gonna fall in and I'm gonna put witch water here. Oh, fail. Water runs, what is it, eight blocks? Is it seven or eight? And why am I not using a wand? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. We'll test that in a minute. Gotta close it up first. And it's going to take a lot more blocks than I thought it might. Actually, I didn't put much thought into it. But here we have a little channel. And so I'm going to have platforms out in this direction. Monsters will be pushed into here where the witch water is. And then they'll turn into the bad versions of the monsters. Like wither skeletons. And those wither skeletons will give me... Um, skeleton heads occasionally which I can use later on yep that's perfect I can use that later on to make um, withers you turn some soul sand and some wither skeletons into withers not wither skeletons wither skulls 
that'll let me get the nether stars which I can turn into other stuff and I think I'm gonna run out of blocks here I, I may change the blocks later on there's a change wand that will let me change out blocks well, that'll be convenient let's grab these clearly I'm gonna need a lot more and I actually realized just now that some of this needs to be dirt because I have a special treat coming up that's gonna turn these dirt blocks into um, I think it's called cursed earth or cursed soil which spawns the monsters a whole heck of a lot faster but I can't do that until I get all all of this built and, I'll, and I want to use one drop of evil and it'll turn this dirt into well let's let's call it bad dirt it makes the monster spawn faster and more of the monsters let's see one two three four five six seven eight this is gonna be a pretty big monster room channel around again and dirt along the top and I'm doing this step by step so you can see exactly what goes on so do I have some witch water here no um, I need to get another barrel over here and make the witch water faster. Do I have a wooden barrel? I do. Isn't that convenient? Grab some more water. What did I do with those reservoirs? Put them in there, alright. Hey, it emptied. Sweet. So I guess when you break them, it doesn't take the liquid with it. So we've got that water in there, now we're making witch water on both barrels, and let's go ahead and and put down some more dirt here. See if the mycelium will spread any faster. So where are we at? About 13 minutes? Okay, so monsters are going to spawn up here. And I don't know if I want to use monster fans or just the vector plates <coughs> one two three four well that's eight and eight over there sixteen and then three more uh, nineteen all right let's go let's go one two who do I have there one two three four five six seven eight nine um yeah, let's do nine. Then we come across with some dirt. And I'm out of dirt. I don't have dirt. So let's get some more dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Good job I made all that dirt, eh? That's a lot of dirt. You know, this is already going to be a pretty good mob spawner because because it's got a lot of area. But I want a super good mob spawner that's making all kinds of monsters. Catching the dirt now because I have magnetic two. I don't know what I put on there that made it magnetic. I think it was maybe the steel or iron. Let's light this up. 
while we're building it because I don't want monsters spawning on me. Okay, we can take that down later. Oops, <laughs> I touched the witch water. I can't see, it's dark, it's so dark. It's so dark. Okay, it's not dark. It's not that dark. It is dark over here. Whoa, <laughs> I almost fell off. Okay, um, witch water. Let's see, if I put that here, does it spread like regular water? Um, it does not. Well, rats. That's alright. We'll get some more witch water in a few minutes. Mycelium spread again. So, let's put some witch water right there. And that should fill up this last one. Okay, monsters that spawn up here on the dirt. We'll go down here into the witch water. They'll be converted into the bad, bad monsters. Then they'll go down here onto these vector plates, get pushed into the diamond mob grinder thingy. I need another barrel. Do I have a barrel of any kind? Um, no. <sighs> Alas, woe is me. No barrel. But I have barrels now. So let's put these barrels over here. The mycelium is growing. This would be a lot faster if I had buckets. I really should automate this. Um, I don't have enough buckets. I probably have buckets in the other chest, huh? Okay, got buckets. Don't need that. Um, don't need these. Make them fuel. And I think I'll just wait to put these down because I'm not sure if the mycelium grows under them. Let's put one right here. See if it grows under that one. Got some water. And some more water. And some more water. And some more. Uh oh. I broke the water. Guess I took it out too fast, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just a glitch. Oh! Don't hold shift when you put the water in the barrel, it breaks stuff. So I flooded all the torches. Now it's dark here again. Well, there's a good way to get mushrooms if you need them. Well, I just plant some mycelium and put a water bucket by it, and I guess it turns into mushrooms. Okay, these vector plates. I'm not going to need all the vector plates. And I'm not going to need the the golden spikes now all right so we got all the dirt placed now we need to build this up some more while we're waiting for the water uh, so let's go here oh, actually I'm gonna need the vector plates huh Here, monsters they must be over here. Oh, lordy, I got monsters hiding out in my place. I wasn't even trying to get monsters yet. That was a very strange lag spike right there. Okay, I have a pretty fast computer and it's just not keeping up right now, so not sure what all that's about. But it's okay, I'll work through it. 
I'll get it going. So now I need to go two blocks high all the way around. Can I do this? No. Can I do that? No. That's not helpful. Alright, I'll do it the hard way. If you stand on these, you can go two blocks tall. Don't need that corner one. One, two, and then I can just walk along and go two at a time. Not as fast as a wand, and there is a better wand, I think, that'll play some like I was trying to. But I think by the time I go make that wand, I probably could have this done. I'm going to need some stuff on top. Uh, probably should do some slabs, right? I want to make it three blocks tall for the Enderman. And three blocks tall here. Let's go two and then I'll come back across with one. Please don't shoot at me, Mr. Skeleton. Almost there, and I'm gonna run out of blocks on the last column. Oh, well, it wasn't really the last column. So I think I'll make this one a longer episode. Let's see, I think Dire Wolf Bag has some stone in it. Yeah. Got that from the mob grinder earlier. Oh, lordy. Get off my house. Anybody else want to play? Okay, did that. Got it. Nailed it. Don't oh, broke it. I see an extra block in the corner over there I need to pick up. Okay, the walls are done. Now we need to put um, all the vector plates. Yeah, I think I'll do it with vector plates. Because I already have a bunch. And I can make more if I need them. And I don't need any more dirt. And I think I'll just stay here and, and finish this project because I'm almost done. And you might like to see how I finish this. Placing the vector plate so all the monsters get pushed off to the side into the witch water. That's one stack. Uh, it's going to be close. I didn't math, so I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need. Looks like I'm going to need a little bit more than I have. But it'll still work. So what do you think? Should I finish it up with all the vector plates, or should I just use the ones I have? You know what? It's going to be super close. I need, I need 19 more, is that what it was? The 8 and 8 and 3, that would be 19. So how did I make vector plates? Vector plates. Um, slime balls and stone and sugar. I don't think I have any more slime balls. I have three. Well, let's use those three. I think that'll make me enough. Um, slime, sugar, and stone. I got stone. I need sugar. Three sugars, right? One, two, three. Uh, yeah, that should do it. I can make that three times. So it was those guys 
and those guys and those guys and that'll give me enough vector plates to finish it oh yeah and then all that's left is I have to creep here so I'll be slow um, all that's left will be to put a roof on it and turn the dirt into cursed dirt cursed soil cursed whatever it's called so let's go do that part actually let's not do that part yet let's do the water first one two Three. I got three buckets of witch water to go on this other end. One, two, and three. So the monsters will spawn up here on the dirt blocks. The vector plates will push them this way. Most of them will fall into witch water and and then They'll fall down here on the grinder. I need to make the mob grinder and power it. Mob grinder, mob grinder, mob grinder. This is turning into a, a long episode, but I want to finish it. So I need two diamond spikes. That's going to be kind of expensive. One, two, actually I just need that. And then some diamonds, which will be some diamond swords. One, two, three. And um, let's see, diamond spikes did that. I got the diamond spikes. Now I need the redstone gear, which is redstone torches. And wrap those around. A block of wood and let's see we need iron blocks and then some iron spikes okay iron spikes I can make let's go um, one two three four and let's put up some of this stone now because it's getting in the way Almost there, I promise. We're getting it. Uh, iron spikes, which means I'm going to need iron swords, which means I need iron. One, two, three. Okay, got the iron swords. Now I can make the iron spikes. So much micro crafting. And, oh, one more block of iron. All right, we got the mob grinder. And the mob grinder will go right here on this square. And then I need to power it underneath here. And I can power it with a lever, which is going to mean cobblestone. I have no cobbles with me. Got the cobbles. So I believe that was right here on this block, and I can turn it on, and that thing should be turning now. Okay, and any monster that falls down on this is going to get grinded up. You know, I'll do the item collector out here like I had set up earlier, but I, I plan to put a uh, a bunch of storage drawers over here so we're ready to turn the dirt into the bad dirt so let's grab a bad dirt getter drop of evil I'm gonna fly underneath and when I right click this drop of evil on the dirt bam it turns it all into cursed dirt oh it didn't go far enough so I'm going to need one more. But this dirt will make monsters. And I think it's still going to have to be dark. So I'll have to put a lid on it. But i got to get this other one and use it. And it's not a big deal because I'll get more from the loot farm now. 
there we go. We have all the dirt turned into cursed dirt. It's going to make lots of monsters. So I think I'll be done here and I'll just put a top on it while I'm off camera. And I'll come back later and show you how it's working. So that's going to be it for this 30 minute episode. You got a bonus 50% today. And that's going to be all. I'll finish this offline and get back to you. Until then, Drippy Pawn out. See ya.